Hey everybody, how's it going? Corey here from ThemeCo with a quick video on the grid element. Now while the CSS grid spec is incredibly powerful and affords us a lot of new tools to lay out our content in ways that we've never been able to before, don't let that deter you from thinking that you can't also use it for very simple layouts. Think of four equal columns or two thirds, one third, kind of the bread and butter stuff that we use all the time in our designs. You can just as easily accomplish that in the grid builder. And some of the new syntax that we get to use with it makes it even easier than ever before. So for this particular example, I've got my grid here and it's got eight different cells in it and they're all using auto placement. So they're just gonna filter in place based on how I set up the overall template here on my grid. As of right now, I've currently got one FR set up for my columns template on all breakpoints and I'm using auto for my rows, which is important just to make sure that any new cell I add will wrap to a new line when it runs out of space with the columns template. Now for this particular example, what I'd like to do is have four equal columns on my large and extra large breakpoint. Go to two thirds, one third here on my medium. I wanna go 50-50 on small and then have a full width column here at the last bit. So let's start with large and extra large. Now to get four equal columns, all I have to do is take this one FR unit and just copy it a few more times. What's basically happening here is this new FR unit, you can think of it as a fractional unit. Its sizing is relative to the number of values you have in that same CSS property. So since I have four one FR values in here, each of them is going to occupy 25% of the space available in my grid. Now let's just say that really quickly for whatever reason, we wanted to have a 20% wide column here, 20% here, 20% here, but 40% here. I could simply change this to 2FR, and now I'm getting just that because this 2 is going to be double the value of these others. So this is effectively going to give me 40%, 20%, 20%, 20%. And the really cool thing about that is that I don't have to think necessarily about the percentage relationship between all these values and I don't have to go back and change each of these individually. I can simply experiment by changing the value of one and seeing how it updates my overall layout. So that's just a quick aside on this FR unit and how you can use it in these templates. Now, one final trick that I like to use for situations like this where I'm just repeating a value over and over is that we can use the new repeat statement that comes with CSS Grid. And it looks something like this. So I'll take this out and I'll write repeat. And then I'm going to write a four because I want to repeat my one FR value four times, comma, space, one FR. So you'll see that we're getting the exact same layout as before. We're getting our four equal columns. We're simply just telling it to repeat four times without having to update this value or add it as many times as we need. And the really cool thing about this is I can simply play around with this repeat value to try different layouts out here. Another quick side note with this is that you can add multiple values into the second property here and it will repeat that. So for example, I could write two and then I could do one FR, one FR. And what it's doing is repeating 1FR, 1FR twice. Now this is a little easier to see if I write 3FR, 1FR, because you'll see here that I've got my super wide column here and then my 1FR here, and then it's repeating that pattern over here. So this repeat statement is super powerful and definitely something I would play around with and get comfortable with because it allows you to get some really complex layouts with just a few little changes in the syntax. All right, so I want to use this layout on my extra large breakpoint as well, like we said. And instead of having to write all this again, I can simply right click anywhere in here or on the tab itself. And I'm going to copy my layout for large. Now I can right click on the extra large tab and I can simply paste large to extra large. So now when I hop over here, We'll see that we've got our layout right there. So that copy and paste functionality with the layout is a huge time saver. Definitely take advantage of it when you can. 
All right, so the next thing I wanna do is hop down to my medium breakpoint, and I want this to be a two thirds, one third setup. So we're still gonna use our FR units, but we're gonna kinda of do the trick we did earlier and just proportionally set things up the way we want. So since I want two thirds, one third, I'll simply write a space here and put two FR first. And this is a super quick way to get our two thirds layout over here and our one third layout over here. And again, take note that my eight cells throughout my grid are simply following the layout of the column they fall into as they break to each new line. All right, so the next thing we said we were gonna do is hop down to small and just make this two equal columns. And finally, we'll jump down to extra small and we will leave this at 1FR to keep our full width column here. So there we have it, we've got a super simple responsive grid where we're using a couple different bits of syntax here to get our layouts going. We're using these FR units to explore these fractional relationships between our cells. And then we've got it completely responsive from extra large down to extra small.